Hello welcome to this week's Soulful Conversations, a podcast dedicated to exploring the depths of our inner selves and promoting personal growth and spiritual enlightenment. I am your host, Jenny. I'm joined by my co-host, Davis. Today, we're going to explore the topic of gratitude. With us today, we have two special guests who are joining us to share their thoughts and experiences on gratitude. Introducing John and Sarah. Hi, I'm John. I'm a life coach and have been practicing gratitude for many years. And I'm Sarah, a writer and a mother to three beautiful children. I try to practice gratitude in all aspects of my life. Thank you both for joining us today. So, let's start with defining gratitude. What is gratitude to you? For me, gratitude is about being thankful for the things we have in our lives, big or small, and expressing appreciation for them. It's taking the time to recognize the gifts that life has given us, rather than focusing on the things we are lacking. I agree with John. To me, gratitude is about being aware of the blessings we have in life, and being content with what we have rather than always striving for more. That's a great point. But why is it that we often tend to focus on the negative aspects of our lives instead of feeling grateful for the positive ones? It's because our brains are wired to focus on the negative aspect of our lives as a means of protection. We often forget to appreciate the good things in our lives because we get used to them and take them for granted. Yes, and the society we live in often tells us that we need more to be happy and successful. Many of us have lost sight of the importance of being grateful for the things we have. So, how can we cultivate gratitude in our daily lives? Personally, I make it a point to start my day by writing down three things I am grateful for. It could be as simple as having a roof over my head or enjoying a warm cup of coffee. It helps me start my day on a positive note and shift my focus on the good things. For me, I try to express my gratitude to people in my life, whether it's a loved one or a stranger. Showing appreciation goes a long way and helps me feel more connected to the people around me. Those are great ways to practice gratitude. One final question, why do you think it's important to practice gratitude in our lives? Practicing gratitude can significantly improve our well-being and overall quality of life. It can help us feel more positive emotions, deepen our relationships, and even improve our physical health. And it reminds us to be appreciative of what we have, rather than always focusing on what we don't have. It helps us cultivate kindness and compassion towards others and ourselves. Thank you, John and Sarah, for sharing your thoughts on gratitude. That's all for today's Soulful Conversation. Join us next week as we continue to explore the power of gratitude.